Okay, so let's do this problem. Find the delta value and the observed shift from TMS, so tetramethylsilane, in hertz of a signal in a 100 megahertz instrument that is 162 hertz from TMS in a 60 megahertz instrument. Okay? okay. So what we're going to figure out from this particular problem is that the delta value for the uh, proton in both the 60 megahertz and in the 100 megahertz NMR is going to be the exact same uh, ppm value. Okay? okay. So the way you need to do this, the first thing you need to do is remember the equation for uh, figuring out ppm. So it's going to be uh, delta equals the frequency of the hydrogen minus the frequency of TMS divided by the frequency of the spectrometer, the NMR, okay? So here we can times 10 to the 6 ppm, okay? So these all have to be in the same uh, frequency unit. So if this is in megahertz and these are in hertz, we're going to have to convert one, okay? So remember how to do that. But um, let's figure out what the delta value is first, okay? So we've got the equation for it. So the proton shift, it tells us, is 162 hertz, right? So 162 hertz. And remember, TMS right, is always zero hertz, right, so divided by, so the frequency of the NMR is 60 megahertz, or 60 times 10 to the 6 hertz, like that. Is that okay for yes. me to just do megahertz that way? And then we're just going to say times 10 to the 6 p p. And, and hopefully you see the 10 to the 6's get canceled out there, okay? So, uh, let's reduce this, so it's going to be 162 hertz divided by 60.0 times 10 to the 6 hertz times 10 to the 6 ppm Get our calculators out. So 162 divided by 60. Right? And to do it to 3 sig figs, so it's going to be 2.70, right? But hertz has been canceled out, right? So yeah, it's also been canceled out, so we get ppm. Okay, so that's how we figure out, well, what's the delta value here? Now, it wants us to know, well, what's the um, number of hertz that it, uh, the proton is shifted if we have it on a 100 megahertz um, NMR, okay? So, remember, the delta value doesn't change, okay? So, we have that up here now, okay? So, let's write that in. 2.70 ppm. Okay, and it also said that our um, NMR no longer is a 60 megahertz NMR, but a 100 megahertz NMR. Okay, and now what are we looking for? Is the value of the proton. Okay, and remember, we know the frequency of TMS is zero hertz, okay, because that's our standard, right? Yes. Okay, so let's just go, I'm going to erase everything except for this so we can keep that in our heads to, you know, kind of rearrange the equation, so. So when we do this, what are we looking for? VH, right? And we know this is zero, so we don't have to include that, okay? So um, VH is going to be 
delta times the frequency of the NMR, or spec. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, we're not worried about the TMS, so we're just going to divide all that by 10 to the 6 ppm. Okay? Remember the delta value here is in ppm, right? And we're going to leave this in hertz, or convert it to hertz, okay? So then that's going to give us hertz for this here. Okay. So are you okay doing that? Yes. Rearranging, right? Okay, so let's, now it's just essentially a plug and chug, right? So yeah. 270, or 2.7, sorry, 2.70 ppm times 100.0 times 10 to the 6 hertz. Is it okay that I do that yes. for megahertz? Okay. And then we divide all that by 10 to the 6 ppm. Okay, notice ppm cancels there, cancels there, 10 to the 6 cancels there, cancels there, right? Yeah. So what do we get? 2.70 times 100, right? So what would you expect it to be? I don't even need to calculate. 270. 270 um, hertz. hertz, right? So that's where the same proton you would find that initially was at, what was it, 162 hertz, right, on a 60 megahertz. Um, what you'll find is it's at 270 hertz on a 100. But the delta value it's for the both same. of them is the 2.7 ppm. Yeah, the same. Any questions on this one? No questions.